Matt McCurdy's secret could put an end to Nickelodeon. For many of us, Nickelodeon was our go-to channel for shows about many types of adventures. Some were spectacular, some were funny, and some were just plain ridiculous. From Hey Arnold and Danny Phantom to SpongeBob SquarePants and Fairly Odd Parents, each show had a distinct story to tell and a new lesson to teach. Another generation may recall classics like Rocco's Modern Life or game shows like Figure It Out. However, there is a darker side to Nickelodeon that we glimpse behind the camera, on set and even between the scenes. These are things the network executives would like to keep quiet, but thanks to recent interviews, fan research and some digging, these secrets are slowly being disclosed. Jeanette McCurdy's tale is one of them. So let's go over to Jeanette McCurdy's secrets that could put Nickelodeon out of business. Jeanette McCurdy, who played the petulant prankster Sam Puckett on iCarly for six seasons before co-leading Sam and Cat, a spin-off co-starring Ariana Grande that lasted only one season, was one of Nickelodeon's greatest stars in the 2010s. In her debut memoir, I'm Glad My Mum Died, which will be released on August 9th, McCurdy peels back the sugar-coated veneer of her sitcom experiences, which were often dictated by an allegedly abusive boss she refers to only as the creator. Jeanette McCurdy's new biography, I'm Glad My Mum Died, includes an allegation that Nickelodeon gave her $30,000 in hush money to keep quiet about the alleged abuse she suffered at the hands of the creator. Vanity Fair published an excerpt from a book that includes this claim. McCurdy does not identify her alleged abuser by name, instead referring to him as the creator. McCurdy claims that the creator urged her to drink alcohol when she was only 18 years old and allegedly inappropriately massaged her shoulders. The actor mentioned, my shoulders do have a lot of knots in them, but I don't want the creator to be the one rubbing them out. I want to say some things to tell him to stop but I'm so scared of offending him. McCurdy debuted in the first season of Nickelodeon's iCarly before obtaining her own network spin-off series, Sam and Cat. The actor recalls the day she learned her sitcom had been cancelled. An agent informed her that Nickelodeon was giving her $300,000 and that she should consider it a thank you gift. And McCurdy was perplexed. They're giving you $300,000 and the only thing they want you to do is never talk publicly about your experience at Nickelodeon. One of their managers told her. McCurdy claims that her manager was discussing experiences especially related to the creator. McCurdy turned down the offer despite the fact that her staff informed her it was free money. She responded, no it's not. This isn't free money. This feels to me like hush money. I'm not taking hush money. What the F? Nickelodeon is offering me $300,000 in hush money to not talk publicly about my experience on the show? My personal experience of the creator's abuse? This is a network with shows made for children, McCurdy writes. Shouldn't they have some sort of moral compass? Shouldn't they at least try to report some of this sort of ethical standard? She continues, I lean back against the headboard of my bed and cross my legs out in front of me. I extend my arms behind my head and rest them in a gesture of pride. Who else would have the moral strength? I just turned down $300,000. McCurdy claims that her entire youth and adolescence were heavily exploited. Her charges have reignited speculation about mega producer Dan Schneider's unexpected departure from Nickelodeon in 2018. Schneider's abrupt departure from Nickelodeon in 2018 sparked questions at the time. Deadline claimed that members of Schneider's employees had filed repeated complaints against him for abusive behaviour. Schneider's well-publicised raged and prior tweets involving photographs of young female actors, tours were apparently cause for alarm. Other concerns mentioned included bloated budgets and long production hours, as well as Schneider's refusal to share production and office space with shows other than his own. Nickelodeon on their part issued an ambiguous statement Following many conversations together about next directions and future opportunities, Nickelodeon and our longtime creative partner Dan Schneider, Schneider's Bakery, have agreed to not extend the current deal. The statement read in part, The network thanks Schneider for his immeasurable contribution to Nickelodeon. An iCarly relaunch aired on Paramount Plus last June without Schneider's participation. In an interview with the New York Times, Schneider finally addressed the allegations but declined to comment on the network's investigation, as he began fishing for a comeback. 
Schneider denied ever behaving inappropriately with anyone at work and said he did not leave Nick on poor terms, instead blaming his departure on weariness. He called the online debate about his performances usage of feet ridiculous, adding, the comedy was absolutely harmless. McCurdy reveals what was going through her head during her first kiss on the set of iCarly. Our lips are pressed together. He's moving his mouth, but I can't. I'm frozen. His eyes are closed, mine aren't. My eyes are wide open, staring at him. It's strange staring at someone while your faces are touching. It irritates me. I can smell his hair gel. My body is saying, no, I don't want this. I don't want my first kiss to be like this. I want my first kiss to be a real kiss, not a kiss for a TV show. When an actor decides to leave the scene and pursue other interests, it's totally appropriate to simply nod and say, you do you. Because everyone has that choice and some people may not appreciate being in the spotlight. However, returning with an explanation for why they left can occasionally leave people stunned. Not because they left in the first place, but because the reason behind it is a bit illogical. Not to mention hypocritical. Let's face it, we're all hypocrites at some point in our lives and calling each other out for it is foolish, but sometimes essential, especially when Jeanette McCurdy became popular in the first place and had an opportunity to go on and do something else, was because she was a member of iCarly for a long time. Yet to return and disclose that she'd gotten tired of the show early on, but nonetheless remained with it until her departure is enough to make one's eyes cross as they try to figure out why in the world she hung around for it for so long. There would have been many young women eager in taking on a new part for the show, but Jeanette stayed for her own reasons until it was time for her to leave. That's a huge reason why it's harder to feel sympathetic in this case, because McCurdy wasn't too humiliated to take the money and keep turning up. But it does sound like she wasn't seeking every possible way to get out of the performance that she was evidently so unhappy in. People may wish to argue otherwise, and it's conceivable that not knowing the entire story is why it sounds so false. But the reason she didn't want to appear on the resurrection of iCarly is simply that she was unhappy with the program and has no plans to return to it. The other explanation she gives is equally ludicrous, but it will no doubt be defended by just as many individuals who believe money isn't the reason she stayed. So what are your opinions on Jeanette McCurdy's controversial revelation? This revelation has actually left Nickelodeon with a very terrible image, and Nickelodeon may suffer greatly as a result but I feel that things should be investigated and actions made to ensure what happened to Jeanette never happens to anybody else.